Mark's crossman. Thanks. Okay. Coming up next. I always wait too long. They had all that flooding down there, right? Down the Mississippi, and they show what it's like. And guess what? They need to start building those houses if they're gonna if it's gonna if it's really truly global warming. The next houses they need to build in those hundred, five hundred flood zones, you know, five hundred year flood zones, they have them. And may be going sinking one way or the other. Is you built them on a pier system uh, where it goes up or down with the flood. We build our docks up here on a pier system because uh, we have tidal. Um, Tides that go maybe, oh man. Or you just don't build in that area. That's the other thing you could do. You know, I'm sorry that it happens. Or you just do it every hundred years or what I don't know. But it just seems if you made a um like a like say a telephone pole put down on the ground and the telephone pole is sticking out of the ground um thirty feet, forty feet. And you put your on the foundation, four corners, and you let that baby uh, rise. And you could even put one in the middle if you wanted to. You know, you could make that, and that thing would rise as your river came up. They could live anywhere, right on the river. Heck, do it. And you could even live on the sides of the ocean. That's how I think. That you know, I don't understand why others. I uh, just don't want to do things and going to let nature take care of it. Well, guess what? Nature's pretty forceful, you know. So, I suggest you build little piling things and put your houses on them if it, and then don't worry about the global warming.